Well, tonight, CBS News is getting a first look inside a military program testing the effects of COVID on hundreds of Marine recruits who are quarantined at the Citadel, the military college in South Carolina. Here's CBS's Mark Strassman. Most of them are 18, Marines in training for all of one week. But many are headed to the front line. It's important to keep you guys all safe. Of COVID research. Why do young people more easily neutralize the virus? Navy commander and immunologist Dr. Andrew Letizia leads the study. We need to understand what those things are in order to further dive down into how our bodies can best and most effectively fight off the infection. Push the saliva in. Volunteers give Letizia's team saliva, navel swabs, and blood samples, like Hezekiah Barron. I'm very concerned because we're like with each other, almost like within a very close basis all day, every day. The U.S. military keeps fighting COVID. Back in March, the virus raced through the Teddy Roosevelt aircraft carrier. 1,200 sailors tested positive. One died. Over the weekend, dozens of Marines stationed in Okinawa were infected. It affects all of us because we can't see it. We can't, you know, it's everywhere, but nowhere. I'm going to take you right here. Researchers will track volunteers who test positive for eight weeks, how the infection spreads, and the resilience of antibodies and other biomarkers fighting the virus. We can then apply that knowledge of our immunology towards developing the next frontier of medicines as well as vaccines. Letizia's initial findings featuring these new recruits will be published next month. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Charleston, South Carolina.